Welcome to Greater Good Radio Hawaii, where leaders inspire leaders. Greater Good Radio Hawaii is dedicated to social entrepreneurship. I'm your host, Evan Leong, and with me is my co-host, Carrie Leong. Today's guest is Pono Shim, founder of Concierge Services at Ward. Pono is the current president of Kamehameha Schools Association of Teachers and Parents and founder of Pacific Wave Marketing, the IT marketing company licensed to develop Oceanic Time Warner Cable's Kupa'a program. Please welcome to Greater Good Radio, Pono Shim. Welcome to our show, Pono. Thank you so much for having me. So, Pono, can you tell us briefly how you got the idea to work with Ward for your concierge services? Well, actually... I worked on the ward properties for about 17 years in restaurants. And I developed a fairly good relationship with Mitch Dolier, who was the um, CEO of ward at the time. And when the last restaurant I worked at, a Pacific Cafe, closed down, I was their corporate trainer and a, and a store manager. So when it closed down, uh, Mitch approached Jean-Marie, who was our boss, and asked what was going to happen with me. Uh, because he wanted to keep me in the community of Ward. And he said that I probably was not going to stay with him and travel. So Mitch asked if he could offer me positions. And he continued to offer me positions, but I was not interested in working for anyone else. And about six months after the restaurant closed, I was down at Ward meeting with one, one of their marketing people. And she said that the theater was opening and they were looking for somebody to run and operate the concierge that they were designing for the theater, for Ward 16 Theater. And they couldn't find somebody who wanted to be self-employed. They wanted All the people that they had spoken to were looking to be employed either by Ward or the theater. So she gave me the, the numbers of the expected attendance weekly, monthly, and she asked me if I would be interested in creating something for her. And I said, are you kidding me? And from there, she, she spoke with uh, Mitch, and Mitch called me and he said to me on his introduction in this phone call, am I speaking to the concierge at Ward after turning him down for several offers? And I said, I think you are. And that's how it started. And then your philosophy on your concierge business is a little bit different than what you may think, right? Yes, absolutely. What I saw in the concierge opportunity at Ward was an opportunity to build relationships. I think in the general concierge concept that you find in the hospitality industry, it's geared towards the visitor industry. And because I worked in the restaurant industry, I saw that there are things that people cater to for the visitors that many of our local population never experience those opportunities to participate just because there's no representation. And if we could build relationships and leverage those relationships with businesses, the local population is always going to be here. The visitor industry changes. They come and they go. But it would be a tremendous opportunity to do something for our local population as well as to leverage that to have a bigger impact within the visitor industry from a local view, a local standpoint. So it is different. A lot of people think that, that the concept was to, to work with the theater and that it's about the theater. But really, no, it's about the relationships. Like I, I see people on a weekly basis who come to the movies every weekend with their spouses, their children. Sometimes their children are on their own. We know them. We know their cell phone numbers. We, we talk to them every week. It's a very different relationship than, than people have traditionally have. They're coming for a relaxing time as a family or, or as a date, and we know them personally. And it opens up the doors to opportunities that I don't think people understand. How have you found that relationships were so key in um, being successful in business? You know, once I walked into Mitch's office and I asked him, Mitch, what business do you think I'm in? And he looked at me and he said, you're in the relationship business. Now, I've asked a lot of people that question over, over the years. And we've been, uh, let's see, we've been in existence for six years now. I've asked a lot of people, and most people say that you're in the theater business or you're in the, the VIP seating business or the ticket business. And Mitch hit it. He's the only one who answered that question the way I've always felt. Because I saw that if I had a relationship with Mitch, 
as his server from a re- restaurant. And he and I became friends. I became interested in the different things he was doing in the community as a leader. And we built this friendship. It would go or it would transcend the experience of just being a server for Mitch. And it wasn't about just seeing him when he comes to the restaurant. Now when there are other things that are going on in the community, because of this relationship, there are opportunities to serve, there are opportunities to make a difference. That's what I saw. That's what I what I look for in a relationship. You know, how can we serve others? Because everybody has different needs and wants. They have desires. Some of them are able to get those things accomplished. But if we have this relationship and it's of trust, people will entrust you to do things for them or, or trust you with information that can help people or the general community in ways that they might not otherwise help or not help but ask others to help. So it, it carries a responsibility. That's that's, you know, some of the some of the attitudes or mindsets that I come from as far as relationships are concerned. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more on Greater Good Radio.